Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK and welcome back to Cattle and Crops. So, we're on to mission two. I've made a few minor alterations to my setup so that my keyboard is a bit closer to me because I, I do need to keep coming back to it. But um, yes, we should now be good to start this next mission. Now, how do I start this next mission? If I click tick, will it accept it? Save game created. That's another thing I noticed actually. There's a cat out there. Pretty sure I just heard a cat meowing. Unless that's in real life and a cat has somehow got into my house. That was weird. There must be a cat out there somewhere. When you save a game, you can't name it. Or so it seems. It just saves. And then says, yeah, I saved it. So you can't have multiple save files. So obviously the, the key issue with that is if one of your game save files gets corrupted then you, you're stuffed. You could have been playing this game for five years, it gets corrupted and that's you done. You can't roll back to last week. So that's a bad idea, that needs to be sorted out. Let's uh, try and be more positive. Why did that save the game? Save game created, why? I don't really understand this interface yet to be honest with you. Right, let's go to missions, go to, uh, yes, planning, quests, Right, here we go. I don't know why I can't accept that from in-game, but I can't. Right, so what do we need to do? We need to enter the Arion 530. Now, I set a, I set something up so that I could switch between vehicles, didn't I? What was it? What button did I pick to switch between vehicles? I can't remember. Oh, when, when you're outside... You can see what gear you're in. If you look in the bottom right hand corner you can see me going up and down the gears. So that's good. I mean it is implemented. That's cool. Um, right. So. Oh man. What did I... Next vehicle. Z. Maybe I didn't bind anything to it. Okay. So here we are. Um... It sounds like the engine's running. Oh, what I meant to do is just turn that one off and then we can start this one up from fresh. Right, so. Engine start. And you can see that the character inside is animated. Technically, he's not doing what I'm doing. He's just doing his own little thing. But he is animated inside there. He's not just sat doing nothing. Right, so I've tried to turn the headlights on um, based on what I remember setting. That doesn't seem to work, so we'll just ignore that and move on. Camera change. There's all sorts of weird noises out here. Now, why on earth hasn't my wheel... Why hasn't my wheel dropped? Is that, That's not where it's meant to be, surely. That looks way too high up. All right, whatever. I think... I may have left the handbrake on, there we go. So I'm coming out of here, turning right. And then taking the left. Now what's weird is, I don't seem to be able to change gears. That is weird, right hang on. Outside camera, so I can see what's going on. Get into first gear. There's nothing on the back, is there? So I'm not carrying a heavy load. Uh, internal camera. No gear. First gear. Handbrake off. For some reason I cannot change gears in this this tractor. Oh. Oh. Started working. It's a bit clicky at best. A bit like the head tracking. Sorry, I'm trying to be more positive about it this week. The weird thing is, the the really weird thing is, is that I really, really like this game. It's so fantastic. It's just the controls are driving me absolutely insane. I feel like my head is going to explode. Also, the braking is way too aggressive. I don't know if that's something to do with the fact that my 
accelerator is configured as my brake and therefore the axis is too long it's highly plausible that that's what the problem is but uh, yeah it's an irritation at least at the very least my FPS is pretty low at the moment ticking around 18 19 now I haven't had this problem before but I haven't been recording whilst playing before so um, I would very much think that it's the recording software which is slowing things down quite a bit which is a bit annoying but um, what can you do with the drunken sailor stick him on a boat and take him to the Barents Sea that's what you can do anyway um, yeah let's go outside and see see how fantastic this looks Nothing gets dirty yet. That is coming in time, and I'm sure that there will be um, changes that can be made to uh, to your character, so you can make him more unique to you. But look at look, just look at the trees, the 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 setting. Honestly, that alone. It's just jaw-dropping for me. Now, what is that blue marker doing? Is that telling me to go right or carry on straight? I think it's saying carry on straight, doesn't it? Pretty sure it is. Is it? Yeah, it is. Just being a bit weird. Just being a tad weird. Now, do you know, I think there's probably a button that I can press... In fact, one thing you can do, I've discovered, is this. And I think this will probably fix this problem. Oh, that raised it up. That's a windscreen wipers. And maybe that is where it's meant to be then. Oh, uh, do you know what? I've only just discovered this. Now I like this game even more. That is sublime. That is just so good. And that's implemented really well. If you excuse my wonky driving. Oh, we're going left here anyway. It looks like we're at... Um, where are we at? Sewage plant. Okay, for some reason I've got the windscreen wiper stuck on, we'll just ignore that. Right, so, oh, okay, now, so now I need to go round and attach that slurry tanker. Although I just set that mirror up, it's not quite where I want it, which is a bit irritating. But never mind, we'll see how it works with the reversing here. Now, there's a few minor bugs around this as well. Only minor. But, um... Oh, uh, there we go. So, hooking up the first implement is pretty straightforward and easy. But you then need to attach that thing that's next to it. And that's not quite so easy. So, uh, you'll see that in a minute. Because you're supposed to be able to drive straight into it, but actually, it doesn't really work. Right, forward gear. Now, look at that. Look at the way that the, the grass is being flattened by the wheels. Um, just the attention to detail on the object itself, speaking of which. Don't want to crash. Try and get as far up into this corner as I can. Slam on the accelerator so that I can uh, stop. Oh, hang on. What's this one? There we go. I found it at last. <laughs> Sorry, guys. How do you turn this flipping thing off? Off. Thank you. Right. So, into... Whoa, that isn't the brake, that's the accelerator. 
into reverse gear, press the brake on, and then uh, we'll do our best to line this up. Now bear in mind, I can't actually see it. It's going to be a bit of a gamble. But um, as far as I can make out, it's not possible to actually drive straight into it anyway. Even if you try your absolute hardest. Oh, we need to come around quite a bit here. I think I've missed it. Pretty sure I've missed it. Can I swing it round in the last second? I don't think so. It's going to be uber tight, isn't it? Jackknived. Oh, do you know what? I might have salvaged that somehow. Let's go outside. Maybe that'll give us a... Do you know what? I think I might have sal salvaged that. Right. Hey, I, I, okay, I haven't lined it up properly. I'm all wonky and all over the place. But trying to get that slurry tanker into that... Whatever that attachment is there at the back is just ridiculous ridiculously hard I'm not in the right place anyway okay let's try and find a gear please first gear oh yeah oh man all that I did there all I managed to do there was disconnect the wrong thing let's try this again connect right attach the staple add-on let's just press Q So I think the problem I'm having here is that I'm just not in the right place. So let's straighten ourselves up a bit. It is made more difficult by the fact that I am uh, sans proper head tracking. I do like the uh, variation of vehicles that you see driving around. Right, now I'm really going to make an effort here to drive in it. I've never seen anyone do it. I've never been able to do it. No, see, as soon as you get close, it just does that. So let's try connecting it. There we go. So I just wasn't in the right position first time round. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry if this is like a bit ham-fisted and difficult, but you, you have to understand that using the brake for the accelerator and the accelerator for the brake is complicated enough with the head tracking going on as well whilst trying to learn a new game and follow instructions and get things right it's it's quite a lot to deal with whilst still trying to do like a commentary uh, chat as we go along as well but hopefully i'm doing a good enough job for you to see how fantastic this game is uh, whilst still obviously highlighting the uh, significant issues that it currently has they're going to get fixed. I'm absolutely sure of it. The controller configuration is going to get fixed. So it's not an issue long term. It's just an issue right now. Right. So now I need to say control. Select fill type slurry and start. And as much as I might be bitching and moaning. Uh, I am enjoying the experience a huge amount. That green pipe by the way. I think you can attach that manually. I'm pretty sure I saw somebody do that. A couple of weeks ago um, and yeah I mean incidentally in case because some of you maybe haven't seen this game very much if I go to the external camera and press control you can see there that's uh, these pipes control that I don't know if I can I can't do it now but you can see how it's individually controlled so you would open the the clamp attach the pipe close the clamp open the uh, the transfer pipe I don't know the correct terminology but hopefully you can sort of get the idea you can open doors and so on and so forth obviously it would be fantastic if this could be done without having to use the control button and the mouse but as I said to you before and what the only gripe I've ever had against this game ever is the fact that the developers use keyboard and mouse and therefore they think that's priority which I think is um, if you forgive me for saying a little bit foolish because people are going to want to have a steering wheel and a side tech side panel and so on and so forth and if you're making that difficult they're going to go elsewhere there are other farming games that are coming out that are looking very good 
Pure Farming is a very good example of a simulator that's looking good. Farm Sim 19. Possibly Giants have learnt from their mistake with 17 and they'll be making more effort. Although my gut instinct is that they're a lazy bunch of so-and-sos and they just want to cash in without doing any work. I hope they prove me very, very wrong. But yeah, um, in terms of accuracy and realism, I think Cattle and Crops has absolutely nailed it. So now I can see what gear I'm in on the dash. Don't know if you can see that right in the middle, just above the steering wheel, C7. Now where am I going left? I think I was meant to go left there, guys. There's another road here, maybe I can get away with it. So I'm indicating left. You can see that the indicator stalk moves. <laughs> it's a pretend road. Who'd have thought it? The sneaky blighters. All right, we're in a tractor. We can go off-road here. It's not a problem. Just try not to get caught between the trees. That's the only issue here. I think we're going to be okay. I think it's going to be just fine. Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary. Right. Press on. And guys, as this game evolves and develops and updates are released, I'm going to keep coming back to it, keep reviewing it, keep you up to date with what's going on and when. And... Uh, as this game gets its control configuration sorted, the level of realism is just going to skyrocket because it's already spectacularly good. And it's just that that's holding it back, in my humble opinion. Look at these fields, they look so realistic. Right, uh, now what do you want me to do? Extrude the add-on. Right, let's go external camera so you can see all this happening. Uh, can I zoom out at all? Yes, I can. Good. Right, with the mouse. Okay, so I'm going to try and press my extrude button. And you can see the animation is kicking in. Looking pretty amazing. Lower it. And then enable it. Now, I want to kind of be in position on the field before I enable it. Which way am I going to go? It looks like I'm going to go up. Oh, oh, oh. This is a good example. I'm in seventh gear, which is way too high a gear. And I'm rolling back down the hill because I'm not in the right gear. There's also a button for, um, I think, four-wheel drive. One of these things over on the right that I don't yet know how to use. But I think we'll be okay. I think I can do this without doing that. So I'm, I'm happy in that gear. Spin the camera around. I think now's a good time to turn it on. Uh, that's that one, yes. Fertilize field three. I'd absolutely love to do that. Thank you for uh, inviting me to do so. So I'm going to stay in uh, third gear. There is the option to skip this because obviously this is like a, a tutorial, I guess. But um, I actually want to get in and do this. I actually want, genuinely want to be... Uh, this is where I started YouTube, actually. Two things I did when I first started YouTube were farming sim... Uh, 15 every single day I had that going up on my channel and flight sim uh, no uh, FSX steam edition I was doing a, a flight around the world a flight around the world in the A2A uh, Komachi 250 um, and what's weird is that if you look at my channel now these are the two least prominent types of game that I play so I'm not entirely sure why that is 
but that's the way it is. Now I'm going to try and do like a headland style approach here. I don't think there's any right or wrong way. I mean traditionally people go up and then down, but I just don't want to do that. So I'm going to do it this way and make like a headland for myself. Uh, so then I can turn around on the field and then I don't have to keep turning it off and raising and lowering it. That's basically the the idea that I've got going on in my head. What speed are we doing here? 15. I think we can go a bit faster than 15. Let's go up a gear. 20. 25. Now at some point we're going to be going too fast. Let's go back down to third because I think 25 is probably a bit too fast. One other thing. Oh God, do you see that? Slipping and sliding around there. Is the... Uh, the deformation of the of the turf there the terrain these tires are big they're heavy they're churning it up and you can see it now you can only see it for a short distance if I come back here you'll see that I oh know it is still there it's just you can't see it very well just like I can't steer very well while spinning the camera around but yeah uh, you'll see dirt flicking up which at the moment doesn't there you go, bits of dirt flicking up, which at the moment doesn't stick to anything, doesn't get dirty, but uh, that's all coming. And uh, also, when you're driving through these fields, um, you can see the suspension kicking and bouncing about. I don't know if I can get the camera in the right place to show you that. Plus, this field's pretty flat, to be fair. But once when, you, when you've ploughed a field and it's a bit more aggressive to drive on, you will see that it's um, proper proper suspension, proper kicking and bouncing about. Trying to get the tractor to stay in a straight line is difficult at best. And that's brilliant, I think. Perfect, in fact. Pretty much like that corner. <laughs> All right, let's go inside until it's like inside. Just turn my head around, there we go. Now I do have, I did have lights bound they don't seem to be working so I can't really show you what that looks like the only the only weirdly the only light button that seems to be still bound is my hazard lights whereas all the other ones don't appear to be working at all which is annoying so we're about 25% done on this field um, what can I say about cattle and crops well it looks spectacular it sounds really good. I think possibly the audio could be better, but uh, it's it's good. I mean, it's it's very realistic, and I love. <coughs> excuse me. One of the things that I hated so much. One of the things I hated most about Farm Sim Seventeen. Here you go. A bit of churned up ground there. Uh, let me go outside so you can see the suspension working on this. Uh, was the fact that they see how we're slipping and we haven't got perfect traction and if I can get close enough you'll see the suspension is independently working of each other just sublime just sublime look at that little baby bouncing and trolling about that's what I'm talking about that's realism right there love it love it one of the things I was really expecting and hoping to see almost demanding if you will from FS17 was that inside the cab things would be more realistic animated to the point where uh, like flight simulators have cockpits that are animated so your indicators move when you indicate uh, your, your gear shifters move when you change gear your throttle and your brake move when you press on them and all of that works here um, and it, it just makes so much it just makes the whole thing so much more realistic, so much more um, fun, in my opinion. Because the more realistic it is, the more I enjoy it. Because I'd love to do this for real. I think that's the whole point of simulation, is you get to do things that you wish you could do for real, but you can't. Uh, how am I doing with this headland? Have I really haven't been paying attention, have I? I think we're back at the start, so I can now come further out into the middle here. It's not that easy to see where you've been and where you haven't been, I'll be honest. 
I'm doing a terrible job here. Oh. So I can see where my tracks were. I suppose that's one thing, isn't it? I can use that as a as a tool for uh, how well I'm doing. Oh, I can see a faint line there. I don't know if you can see that on the left. Now, I'm not. I'm not going to get this field perfectly nailed, but I'm not really going for perfectly nailed today. You know, there's there's too many issues in the game uh, to really try and do it realistically. But I'm trying to do it as realistically as I can in the confines of the limitations that I have in terms of control and options and setup and settings. Let me just see if I can get some lights on here because it is getting dark. Right. Uh, we'll try that. I don't really know what any of those mean. Right, there's a light. There we go. So we've got hazards on. We've got main beam. we got working lights. Uh, and if I jump outside, headlights, front and back, work lights, and, oh. You can only have one or the other. That's weird, isn't it? Either headlights or beacons. Okay. In fact, everything... Every, everything seems to turn the beacons off. Right, okay, that's weird. So you can either have beacons or side lights. Okay. I didn't know that. Alright, let's press on, let's get this field finished. Where are we at? We're just over 50%. Going reasonably well, considering I'm not actually paying any attention to what I'm doing at all. You can see all the dirt and the muck flicking up. Now, obviously, um, further down the line, that's going to be sticking to the window, making the window filthy. It might even get to the point where you need to put the windscreen wiper on, which at the moment I don't think there's a key bind for, but you just switch it on like so. And that would enable you to see. Um, what would be great is if you could use sort of water spray um to just give it that extra bit of a clean but eventually at some point you are going to have to clean the vehicles themselves now another bugbear i had of farm sim 17 was that the way they implemented dirt was exactly the same on either side of the vehicle so if you saw a dirt splatter on the right hand side of the vehicle and you walked around and looked at it on on the other side it would be the exact same uh sprite you utilized as a dirty splatter it would be identical on both sides uh, and that's not going to be the case here it's going to be I don't know if it's going to be dynamic dynamic or random or what the hell they're implementing but based on how amazing this game is I know it's going to be good and just just at the right time you can see that a little puddle has accumulated over here now that has come from the fertilizer that we're putting down can you see this puddle on the left that is amazing and it's filled up in the gaps that we've created by driving around this field. That is how good this game is. That is how much attention to detail this game has. It's spectacular. And this is why I am so excited for it. The only thing I want is to be able to control it better. Now you might be watching this video having not watched the first one and think, well you seem to be controlling that perfectly well with your head tracking and your, your steering wheel. But what you fail to realise is that I'm using my brake to accelerate, my accelerator to brake, my head tracking is using the head tracker and it's based on a thumbstick control mechanism rather than a head tracking mechanism. So it's not perfect and it, in, in order to get to this broken stage where it's not quite working properly has taken me hours. So yeah. There are some problems with this game at the moment. It is early access, and uh, I just I cannot wait for them to fix it because this game is just going to explode 
in terms of how realistic it feels. My FPS is pretty low at the moment. I might have to drop my graphics um, whilst recording. Uh, hopefully in the video itself it isn't too bad for you. But I am noticing it. We do have quite a lot going on I suppose. Oh, we've done it. Job done. Right. So now we'll turn it off. We'll raise it. We'll collapse it. And now we're going to drive back to the sewage plant. So that, for me, was spectacular. I have really, really genuinely enjoyed making this episode. I know I've moaned a lot, um, but that's more to warn you guys about what to expect. And also, hopefully, um, the Cattle and Crops devs will watch this video and go, uh, OK, we, we can see now how much of a frustration it is not having the controls in place and uh, we'll, we'll put them slightly higher up the priorities list because at the moment clearly it's not very high up in their list of priorities which is a shame because I, I just want to enjoy this game so so badly I'm not even worried about the uh, head tracking because I can use the head tracker um, I've gone the wrong way here balls I can use the air tracker for the time being. It's not perfect, but it is functional. Um, and that's not the air tracker I'm referring to. It's the game that has the limitation, not the air tracker. Um, once the game has head tracking uh, included, I may continue to still use the air tracker because one thing the air tracker has is instant, near instant uh, movement. And you can tweak and control this in game, which is good. Right, we're not doing it now we're not spraying now so we can go up the gears get to maximum speed looks like we're going left here if only I could see the road can you see the shimmering light on the field that we've just done that's brilliant that is brilliant simply brilliant and the light the light in this game is wonderful. Interestingly, I'm seeing it out the side windows, but I don't see it out the front window. That's a bit random, isn't it? So if you look out the side window when we go past uh, like this bush up here, for example, so you can see the bush is not lit up at all. Um, you cannot see the yellow light on it at all, but as soon as we get to the side window... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I'm going to have to come back to that one. I'm not convinced. I can't tell if it is or isn't. There's quite a lot of UI on the screen that I wish I could get rid of, but I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of it just yet. So um, let's uh, continue on, get this back to the, uh, to the sewage plant and um, complete this mission. And that'll be the end of the episode for today. It's quite a long one again, do apologise. I don't like to rush my farming simulators, I have to be honest. I like to do things very realistically. Just wait for this car. Another thing I've found is that the, the cars, again, trying not to draw too many comparisons to Farm Simulator 17, but uh, it seems almost inevitable. Um, the cars move much faster than the tractors do. Much, much faster. And I saw yesterday, actually, in, uh, in Pure Farming, another game that looks really interesting to me that I'm not going to be reviewing on the channel because I can't afford to buy it and I don't have access to it, um, is uh, the, 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 the vehicles not only move faster than you, but they get annoyed with you and beep you if you get in their way and slow them down, which is fantastic. I don't think anybody in Britain would do that to a farmer because he's liable to get out and give you a good old Glaswegian Glasgow kiss or something. Here we go. So I think we're just going to drop this off here, aren't we? Mission complete. Buy slurry at the sewage plant. I've got to buy more. Or is that the mission completed? What? Oh, is it just telling me that because I am 
in the position whereby you would select it. Okay, so maybe if I just drive around the side here, park up and drop this off the back, then maybe that will enable us to completely complete the mission. All right. Oops, that's not the brake. So what I'm going to try and do is back this up so that the attachment, the pipe attachment, is over the other side of the road, but in line with the uh, the slurry tanker which I'm going to put on this side of the road. I think I may have hit something there. I have to go external camera because I can't see anything. Blimey, I have as well. Let me try that again. It's very difficult to see in this game at the moment. Right. Let's try that again. So, I'm going to try and drop it there and see how that works. Perfect. Now you can see that I'm in it, and it's around the, the, the tanker. But you try and, when you get the game, you try and drive reverse back into that. It is impossible. You can drive out of it okay, but it's it's very difficult to drive into it. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So guys, I hope there somewhere in amongst all the moaning and complaining, you can see just how spectacular this game is and the huge amount of potential and realism that it's going to supply. I am absolutely loving this, despite all the irritations in setting it up, I am absolutely loving this. And the attention to detail on the vehicles is sublime, everything is just top notch. Except for the controls. <laughs> Except for the controls, but they'll get fixed in time. Right. There are still five tasks to complete the minute the mission what oh man we have not finished we have got loads more to do well listen i'm going to call that a day there because i thought it was just that one mission it looks like there's five missions so please join me again for the next episode where i'll continue this and uh each in each episode i'm just going to get more and more into the game and and get over the fact that the controls are a bit wonky so please keep coming back and uh, keep watching and keep asking questions and leaving your comments and so on and so forth. This is a great game. When the controls are working, it will probably be the best farming simulator available. So join me uh, and let's enjoy the experience together. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. Goodbye for now. Yeah.